If Jack Dorsey gets his way, you won't be able to wipe your behind without getting permission from big tech. Jack Dorsey, like all the other tech giants, is following the same playbook as just about every tyrant in history. He's just adapted the playbook for the internet. The go-to strategy for tyrants has always been point to some enemy of some portion of the population or create an enemy if you need to, then tell the population, there's your enemy. If we don't do something about your enemy, your enemy is going to destroy everything. So we have to do something. Here's the plan. Give me all the power I need to defeat your enemy for you. But your enemy is really powerful, so I'm going to need a lot of power to take care of this problem. In fact, the amount of power I'll need you to give me is conveniently just enough for me to completely subjugate you and take over the country or the planet. So people start giving him massive amounts of power because he's the one who's going to defeat their enemy. And if anyone starts getting suspicious about all this power he's gathering, he simply says, Oh, you're complaining about all the power I'm getting? You must be on the side of the enemy. Look, everyone, he's one of them. So five simple steps to establish a tyranny. Identify the enemy. Present yourself as the one who can deal with the enemy. Demand the power to defeat the enemy. Use that power to subjugate the population and eliminate anyone who questions your power by associating them with the enemy. Those are the same five steps that tyrants have been using for thousands of years. And they're the same five steps that are being used by Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, Google, YouTube, Apple, and Amazon. In a video leaked by a Twitter employee and posted by Project Veritas, Twitter CEO Jack Dorsey admitted that even though the focus is on Donald Trump right now, this is just the beginning because he's got big plans. We do intend to do a full retro, as I said in my note. It is going to take some time. Um, and then the, the other thing, just to, just to close out a little bit, we... You know, we, we are focused on one account right now, but this is going to be much bigger than just one account. And it's going to go on for much longer than just this day, this week, the next few weeks. It's going to go on beyond the inauguration. So who's the enemy right now? Trump and racists. Who's going to deal with Trump and the racists for us? Jack Dorsey. What sort of power does he need to defeat our enemies? He needs the power to cancel anyone he views as a threat. Once he's defeated our enemy, is he going to relinquish his power? Of course not, because there are enemies everywhere. So we need Jack Dorsey to constantly police everything anyone says for our own good. What happens if you object to tech tyrants having this kind of power? Oh, you must be one of those white supremacist MAGA people. So obvious, so predictable. You have to be so utterly gullible to fall for this. And yet it's been working for thousands of years. If people are stupid enough to fall for this over and over and over again, can you really blame Jack Dorsey and Mark Zuckerberg and Susan Wojcicki and Tim Cook for thinking to themselves, you know, Someone's going to subjugate these morons. They're basically begging to be subjugated. So it might as well be us.